Being whole starts with you. Today, we're going to be talking about how to be whole. Specifically, how being whole starts with you. We've discussed this a bit in our previous talks, but I want to go over it a little bit more in detail. So let's start with a recap. When most people talk about being whole, we find it is usually associated with being with another person. When you find your significant other, you feel whole. If something goes wrong with your relationship, you feel like only part of a person. However, that isn't really what makes a person whole. It can be a part of it. But what makes someone whole is what's inside of them. Being whole means believing in yourself and being your true self. We've also discussed that intuition is key to being whole, as you learn to listen to your instinct and your body to identify any issues. But how do we start with being whole? Instead of looking for something from others to make us whole, we have to first focus on ourselves. Well, how do we do that? We must first better our intuition. To do this, we must increase our awareness of our bodies and our thoughts. Learning to listen to yourself is the key to increasing your intuition. Throughout daily life, many of us push away our gut feelings, opinions or what our body is saying to us. It can take a while, but we must learn to nurture these feelings again and not push them away. This can be hard to do if we don't first improve our relationship with ourselves. If we don't trust or believe in ourselves, we can't nurture our intuition. You must learn to accept yourself. This takes a lot of love and patience, and it will be difficult, but it is the first thing you have to do to become whole. As with anyone, you must forgive yourself before you can grow. Learn to forgive yourself for the mistakes you made, and the times you let your fear or ego block your growth. Thank yourself for the times you have been bold, adventurous, or did something you wanted to do. Once you've learned to forgive yourself, you can fully open your heart up to loving yourself. Appreciate your body and mind for what they've done to get you this far, and that they are always working their hardest. You are your own harshest critic. If you are willing to forgive others and treat them with compassion and kindness, you must also be willing to treat yourself in the same way. Realise that a lot of the fighting you are doing, not to face criticism, to do better, to work harder and so on, is you fighting with yourself. We are constantly beating ourselves up and are often assuming that other people are thinking about us in the same way. What we don't realise is that everyone is facing these inner thoughts and are often so consumed by them that they don't have time to criticise others. Those that are, generally are trying to avoid their inner thoughts and focus on others instead. So, learn to love yourself, but acknowledge that this will take time and energy. You'll need a lot of patience. But once you learn to forgive yourself for your past mistakes and focus on your present self, you can realise that you are whole. No one can make you anything more or less than what you already are. No one else can fill in the spaces of your mind that you are missing in order to make you better. You have to learn to fill in those cracks yourself. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.